What's going on, Brews? I'm going to be talking about if the iPhone SE first gen is worth buying in 2020. Okay, so remarkably, this phone can play high graphic games like COD Mobile, PUBG, Fortnite without any issues. The phone's also pretty fast for how old it is. Now, I've got it right here. I wanted to throw it up against the iPhone 11 because currently you can pick up the iPhone SE first gen brand new for $100. So I'll have a link in both the description and comments if you guys want to check it out. I mean, the screen is a little bit smaller, obviously, at 4.7 inches. But, you know, the benefit to using a smaller phone, it's easier to hold one-handed. Um, you know, you can carry it around, throw it in your back pocket without it kind of, like, bulging out. Anyways, I'm going to throw up, uh, you know, some video on here. I'm going to throw up some YouTube, actually, on YouTube of this new uh, Spider-Man um, game coming out. It's a really cool trailer. But I'm going to zoom in, check this out. Also, if you guys could smash the like button as you're watching this. And uh, let's get into it. Someone who doesn't give up. Your dad said that. He was right. Now it's your turn. Go be a hero, Miles. Okay. Let's do this. Feeling just don't stop you now. All right, so I think watching video on the SE is still solid. You know, the phone is pretty loud as well. I had it on the max volume. Now I'm going to throw up some COD Mobile just to see how smooth this game plays on here. I think it's just really impressive, like I said, considering that this phone is like four years old right now. inside.
enemy contact. Alright, so it was definitely nice to get that final kill. Now I want to throw up one more game here called Black Paradox just to do a little bit more gameplay. Then I'm just going to give you like my closing thoughts on this phone and, you know, if it's worth buying right now. All right, I gotta say, I absolutely love that game. It's a really cool arcade style shooting game. Now, do I think, you know, this phone is worth buying right now in 2020? I gotta tell you, based on the price point, you know, it's a $100 phone. I think, honestly, too, you know, it's still good for playing games, obviously. The, the phone's actually pretty fast as well, and it's also a very lightweight phone. You know, if you're on a super budget, I think it's worth it, so I'll have some links in both the description and comments if you guys wanna check it out. Also, if you guys could smash the like button on this video, I would definitely appreciate it. Thanks for watching it, and we'll see you in the next one.